and good afternoon everybody and welcome to another wee video okay this one here I'm just going to demonstrate a couple of wee things that I have uh, these are very very cheap wee uh, tools here you can make up yourself I'll show you, I'll show you where to get them they're on eBay uh, that is a 12 volt to 5 volt uh, DC uh, converter so it's it's, uh, it's known as a wee voltage regulator and I have 12 volts coming in off the car there and uh, just using the, the car battery there uh, just for handiness that's coming in into the wee voltage regulator and I'm also I have the full 12 volts going into this this is a pulse width modulation controller which uh, you can buy very cheap, but I'll show you a wee bit later on where to get all this stuff, and you can do all this yourself. So, in the last video, if you've been following my videos and a subscriber, thank you very much for subscribing. But you'll recognize this boy here. This is our EGR out of a Volkswagen. So, this, before it goes in the bin, I decided to uh, do a wee bit of muck about with it. I actually got the thing nearly sort of half working. There is our little, uh, there's our little uh, uh, actuator that opens the valve. The valve is completely jammed and stuck, so uh, I took it apart and freed it up a wee bit. It's sort of half working and still not great, and uh, it is it is unusable. But uh, for this purposes of this, uh, we could uh, just demonstrate. What you could do, uh, just to test it, and you wouldn't have to go to all this hassle, is a five pin uh, connector here. Two pins are 12 volts uh, pulse width modulated supply to the motor that actually adds that wee arm. There. The other three are the position sensor. Uh, so you have five volts positive, uh, five volts negative, and a signal output. So what we'll have here is we'll have our Pico and that is going to show us the output of this. Um, this is going to show us uh, the output of the signal of the position sensor and that's going to that is connected to the duty cycle of the Pulse 12 modulator and our, our wee Pico 2000 is gonna just show us the the pods both in action. So let's just go over here for a wee second. Hopefully we'll be able to do this all all at once. So we've written this uh, this wee thing out just for demonstration here. This uh, this corresponds to the pin out of uh, of that. So what we'll have is pin one. Pin one is our five volts plus 5 volts, pin 5, the middle one, signal out, uh, and the negative there on 3. So the top half of that wee connector is the position sensor. The EGR motor then, uh, plus 12 volts into pin 6, minus 12 volts into pin 2, and that's connected to our P PWM, or pulse width, pulse width modulator controller. So uh, that's our connections, and as you can see, our Hantac breakout leads are fitting the, the connectors very well. I'll, uh, I'll maybe do a wee end video of uh, uh, I'll show you all this sort of disconnected and make it a wee bit simpler because there's just wires all over the place here at the moment. So um, without further ado, without further ado, uh, we'll give this a wee cut here and see if we can get this in action. So if we, if we this, there's a switch here so there's absolutely nothing on the Pico at the minute. And if we click that, and we're going to start to see, there's our pub swells there. Okay. So there's that happening there. And as we're doing that, I'll bring you over. There's our duty cycle. In percent. Okay. That is our position sensor, signal output. Right, it's very sticky, this EGR, it's not working very well. So, 
it's not going to drop very quickly. It'll just show you the actual arm moving about. I can hear it just squeaking in the background. And that's it, off again. You can see the position in, is still a bit half open there, isn't it? It's actually still squeaking even though they've the, of this clicked off. So we'll just have a wee look. I have that wee torch there so you can see it. So I'll just help it back manually. Uh, that's it. That's about it. As close as it's going to get. So let me see if I can get this in shot at the same time. Here. So that's it clicked on. And I'm just screwing it around a wee bit. And there she is moving. And come back down again. That's it, cracked off, and it's so slow. So there we go. That's that's why the thing was failing. Well, it was absolutely completely stuck. If you watched my previous video, but there, there it is. I'm actually moving anyway. A wee bird tweeting, the squeak, the squeaks of it. Give it another wee go. So that's all happening when I'm turning this knob here. That's it, clicking on. And back again. So you can see our, our contact breakout leads connected in there. I'm able to uh, measure my signal outputs because they're all doubled up and then the 4mm bananas are outputting to my, uh, these are the outputs to the voltmeter, right, the wee GD cycle meter, I've just, I've just the, the lead stuck in the crocodile clips with those and they're, they're just sitting there and that's our 5 volts for our position sensor and this one here is the uh, 12 volt supply from the car battery. Uh, so, um, I'll disassemble this a wee bit. No, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll show you on the laptop a few of this stuff. Um, where I get it from, because it may have. Yeah, okay, so there we go. Fiver for that. We. Uh, we 5 volt regulator there. You get that in eBay, just stick in 12 volt to 5 volt uh, regulator. Oh, something's beeping at me. Wanting to turn off, it's getting tired. And there is our pulse, pulse width modulator. I can nearly say that. I think I paid 7 or 8 quid for that. Uh, apparently it does 2000 watts. But uh, on the board, on the circuit board, I'll show you this later on, it'll show you uh, what terminals what. Now, I have modified mine slightly. As I like to do, uh, I've drilled a couple of holes in the back, a couple of grommets, so it needs to come out, and just for a bit of reliability, I've put a, a couple of bananas on the end of the input, and uh, what have I done with the output? Oh yes, I've put these uh, that's my bit of green heat shrink to indicate my signal output and the uh, pulsed uh, negative there. So that's the output. That's the output. That's my output side and that's my input side. And our we Unity T has went to sleep. I'm just not on again. A great we made these here for for the money. Uh, they're very very cheap. Only about 20, 20 old quid. I think I paid for that. And I have a wee smaller version as well, that wee one there, they're about 20 quid as well. For the for the money they're fantastic, occasional use, great. Uh, that's the Vantage Pro, it, it's just acting as a voltmeter at the minute and it's measuring the uh, position. So maximum will be four and a half volts probably. So that's it, probably maxed out there. Let's bring it back down again. And as you can see, it's very, very slow to come back. Because this EGR is sticky and it looks as if it's stuck there. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, there she's stuck. 
So, uh, I'll just give it a wee helping hand here. That's her back. And it's showing a vault there, which shouldn't really be the case. Uh, the only thing I'll maybe show you while I have this laptop on here, where I get uh, how I need those pinouts there, which is probably if you're working on a car, uh, you know, how do you know what's what on a five pin connector like that? This is a program here. Uh, this one here is uh, Stackist Technique. Uh, I get it from that website there, uh, you know. So uh, he does a lot of software and stuff like that. You can check it out uh, yourself there and you can make your own decision on whether that would suit you. It's also known, look at there, Stackus. It's also known as Hands Pro. It's exactly the same as Hands Pro, that program. And that has given me the pin out there. Uh, that's number six there. So you can make it out. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So there's your, there's your wee motor. Uh, Sorry guys, there's your remoter there, 6 and 2, and there's your position sensor, 1, 3 and the 5 is the output there, so 1 and 5, so it gives you a bit of an idea here, and this wee sort of chart tells you how to check, check the solenoid supply voltage pin 6, and if you click on that, It'll say the voltage you'd expect, so that's uh, battery voltage and the potentiometer is what it's calling here, I'm calling it the position sensor, is five, the 5 volts supply voltage pin 1. So it shows up a wee multimeter, a wee multimeter, a wee graphic uh, demonstrating uh, as if you didn't know how to connect a multimeter, but there you go. So on the pin 1, so the main thing you need to know is the pin outs and the voltages that it normally works at. So that's how I, I knew how to connect this up. So I'm going to disassemble this a wee bit because there's just wires everywhere. I'll, I'll show you this wee modulator in a sec. Okay. Okay, back at our Pudswub modulator controller. I have to say that slowly. So here we go. Uh, I'll just show you what I've done with this. Seven pound of eBay, as I said, and I've connected. Uh, just ordinary uh, automotive leads that you get out of motor factors into it. There's the wee schematic there at the top that tells you the connections. Just about focusing that. Motor, motor, plus and minus, and power, uh, plus and minus there. So power in, power out, and the negatives at either end. So what I've done as I've connected, I've uh, connected these four mil female bananas, but I can also clip on the outside of them uh, on the input, and then I've soldered four mil jacks onto the end of that. Bit of heat shrink over it, bit of green one on my green heat shrink on my signal, and they go into the the hand tack leads very nicely. Just a second, put that back in again. Right, so uh, this connection, I've just simplified it here. I've, I've uh, taken the connections out for the position sensor. And we just have the 12 volt motor. Uh, I've given that another wee squirt or carb cleaner to hopefully try and, because it was really sticking on us with the last wee bit of footage there. So uh, this is our, our Modulator naked. Uh, we'll maybe get the two of them in the shot there at the same time. We'll click it on. Uh, it's moving a bit further now. And it's returning. So, what I've noticed is it's not taking much to open it. But anyway, uh, on our couple of meters here, our scope on our meter, we'll maybe be able to see the the two of them happening at the same time here so with my other hand, I'll just change hands here with my other hand I'll uh, 
చెప్పారు సో దిస్ ఇస్ జస్ట్ మెజర్ ఇన్ ది అవుట్ పుట్ ఆఫ్ ది పిడబ్ల్యూఎం కంట్రోలర్ హియర్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ దో యాక్చువల్లీ ఇన్ ది ఈజిఆర్ సో యు కెన్ సీ ఇట్ ఆన్ ది గ్రాఫ్ ఆర్ ఆన్ ది ఆన్ ది పిక్ ఆఫ్ స్కోప్ బై పుట్ దేర్ ఇన్ పర్సెంట్ సో దట్స్ ఆర్ పల్స్ విడ్త్ దేర్ That's the width of our pulse. That's where we get the name from. And that's it, go down again. To when it clicks on there, it's showing 4%. That's it all. Now, so. Yeah, that's good, I don't know where you go. So there you go. That's what you can do with a wee Pico 2000. A wee cheap UNIT. I'll give you the numbers as you go along. You can put rulers on the on the, the uh, on the Pico there and uh, you can measure that at the same time. But that's just a visual. That's a numerical. All at the same time. And that's just because of uh connect that we unity that's the unity leads there and our hand tag leads because they're they're doubled up I'm able to input and that's the uh that's the same that's the same lead because they're they're doubled up so there's there's the two and that comes out onto that and that's connected into that so there we go just knows we as we am leading in that as well didn't notice that before Not much vanilla, not much good of you. You have that cover on, I suppose. You can just about see it in there under the cover. We LED on there. So, there you go. A bit of mucking about with this EGR just before it goes. It goes to EGR heaven. I don't know where the cogs are lying there, but it's uh it's actually fully open at about only seventeen percent. So and a very very small percent, I don't know, it's So our our test subject is scrap. This is purely for demonstration. This uh by no means take it that at seventeen or twenty percent duty duty cycle that this thing is gonna be fully open. But certainly uh Yeah. So seven pounds for that. Uh, that's our wee 5 volt regulator there, uh, 12 volt in and 5 volt out, so that's a fiver, uh, that's 7, 7 pounds, a couple of bits of wire, uh, if you want to take the time, do what I did and solder wee ends on, but I want to be able to take this out of the box and, and use a way at it, I don't want to start mucking about with uh, dodgy connections, so I spent half an hour doing that when I had a few bits of wire right in the bench so as ever thanks for watching and uh oh by the way Ian I got your email there so there's some stickers on the way to you and um, uh, the, definitely the my favorite commenter on all my videos uh here's a shout out to you you're gonna get get some some stickers in the post uh, as soon as I can so I don't know how long it will take to go to Canada, but uh, thanks very much for your kind words in the email, by the way. And uh, Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks very much uh, for watching, as ever, and bye-bye.